I grind all night. Hey, what can I say? I think it's still smoking hella ounce of weed a day. Slaving at the nine to five, working minimum wage. Hey, I grind. What it is, Billy family? What they do? I'm over here cooling it. Maintaining on this good Friday. Happy Friday, y'all. Guys, we made it to another one. You no. Know? Another one safe and healthy. Feel me? Dogs out here dogging it. You know, birds are here, they birding it. You know, when I here winning. And we are here winning. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just a little give y'all a little video, man. A little shot at the um at the pups, man. I just um I just dewormed um Sancho a few minutes ago. So that'd be his last one for a minute. I probably um depending on if um Kenya's still here, I'll go ahead and um give all them their shots again. Later on this month. Cause you gotta wait like a month to get them the other shot, so I'll give them the other shot later on this month. You know. Right now man, I'm just just cooling it, reflecting on past events. You know, you know sometimes when you like you sit back and you think about like the things you've been through and the things you did and I would make you who you are today, but it don't define you. You know, that's what I'm that's what I'm doing today. Um Yeah, that's what I'm doing, just reflecting on my past, you know, and the lessons that I've learned. You know what I mean? Like I told y'all before, no losses, just lessons, you know. Life is a, to me, life is a lesson course, you know. You learn every day. It's not a day that don't go by that you don't learn something. That's how I feel. You know, like you should learn something every day that you wake up. It should be something that you can take into the next day. You know? So, I'm just saying, like I told y'all before, I'm just sitting back reflecting. And I'm in a, I'm in a real, um, not a real peaceful state, you know, and I mainly, honestly, that mainly comes from me dealing with the dogs because they bring me so much peace and so much joy. I mean, other than my wife, my kids, you know, like this right here is something I love doing, you know, something I love doing. And like it's, it's not hard. It's um. You gotta be on it, you know what I mean? Like you gotta be on it. You gotta be on top of everything, you know. Like me, I get up in the morning. I come out here every morning. I clean the poop. I mean, I dig a hole. I dig a hole and I put the dog poop inside of a hole. You know. I put the dog poop inside of a hole. You know, I um I change the water at least I think at least four times a day I change the water. You know? I, I, I'm big on like giving them like fresh water. I'm big on that. So I change the water at least. Four I say four to five times a day I change the water. Like you don't gotta change the water that much, that's just something that I do. You know? Cause like you see like there's dirt right here when I come out here. When I come out here to check up on them, like they be dirt inside the the water. So I just sit bumping, man. I just change it out, you know. Sometimes as you can see, sometimes I leave the food out. And sometimes I pick the food up. Cause um I think it's King. He likes to dig inside the food. You know, and y'all see I free feed them throughout the day. I free feed them. You know, uh like, yeah, I'll free feed them, or sometimes I'll, I'll pick the food up, depending on if he knocks it over or what. And I'll bring it back up when the sun goes down. You know, but for the most part, I got free feed them. And 
I be out here with them at least I try to be out here with them at least two hours a day to watch them function. You know, to learn the, the new puppy traits, you know. And see who the dominant one, which is Egypt. Egypt's the leader. You know, so yeah. Luna has become more like more of a puppy. Well she still is a puppy, but she's she got more puppies around her, so she's like she's like she's real like you can see her over there, like she real playful. She good with the pups, man. She good with the pups. I had um I experimented and let Sancho sleep in the cage with her, which went well besides the fact that he pooped in the cage. He haven't gotten um to the stage where he don't poop puss in the cage. You know, but all in due times the um Kenyan sky they don't poop nor do they puss in the cage. Well, that's good. And they like two they're going on three months. So that's good. You know, they'll hold it until the morning time. Which I be out here, I bring them out like five or six o'clock in the morning. I bring them out, let them do their thing and then I'll bring them back inside until um until the sun come up and then I just let them stay out here for the remainder of the day. You know, so yeah, that's what I do, man. Like I said, it's not easy. You just gotta, you just. I mean, it's easy, but it's not easy. It's easy. You just gotta stay on top. You gotta make a um. You gotta make a schedule. You gotta come up with a schedule that you can operate on. The earlier, to me, is like the earlier the better. I mean, the earlier the better, because you knock it out, and then you got like, knock it out, I knock it out in the morning time, I mean, then like I got um, time periods where I just, I do me, you know, I watch a little education on TV, a little knowledge about dogs, uh, knowledge about life, I mean, spirituality, whatever, um, you do your thing, you know what I mean? Like, I do my thing, you know, then I come back out here, probably noon, probably two, noon, between noon and four o'clock, I come back out here, you know, and I spend, like, the rest of my day, like, out here, until my wife get home, and then we we'll go for a walk, you know, 90-day challenge, you know? <laughs> we got this 90-day challenge going on, so I'm... I'm Looking forward to that. I want to see the transformation. You know, right now I'm two. I'm two twenty five right now. I already lost like four pounds. What is it? Four pounds? Five pounds? Five pounds? I already lost like five pounds. So yeah, ninety day challenge. So I got that going on. But yeah, when she comes home, we go for a walk. You know. Then after that, come eat. By the time I do that, they'll be ready to come in about eight, nine, seven, between seven and nine o'clock. I bring them in, and they pass out for the rest of the day. You know, don't hear a peep from them. <laughs> Could hear a pen drop in there. You know, so yeah. yeah I just wanted to come and drop a, a little video, a little knowledge, of what's going on with me, what I what I do, my daily routine. You know, so I hope this helps somebody out. You feel me? So until next time, y'all be great. Y'all stay motivated.